This is a disaster which is a global scale disaster which can be turned around simply with a committed focus. If we do not avoid an avoidable disaster, I think there's not enough love and care in our hearts. Maybe I play a little song for you. Yeah, Bastian, come sit down, man. Play some music. I've seen the world and it's no longer the same. Death better of pollution and the world is dying. Good moment. So I would really like to thank uh, Sagoro for his leadership. I, I think the, 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 it's a message of urgency, but it's also a message of hope. I can only congratulate um, this human being for the not only the energy, but for having, for having had the courage to engage on such a, a journey. It's not only the health people, not only the agriculture people, but the hemophilized young people. And I have to say that that's uh, particularly, particularly inspiring. And his language is very powerful, very easy to communicate, so I inspire. Safe soil. Safe soil. Safe soil. Many people are scared of earthworms, so how do we make them love earthworms as much as they love tigers? Uh, loving a tiger is a dangerous thing. <laughs> Earthworm is very safe. <laughs> that is what this is about, to shift the narrative in the planet, to make people understand it's a living soil, it's not an inert substance. So this is not a joy life, this is a life's commitment. Thirty years I've spoken about it endlessly, but people did not wake up to be doing this. If you have woken up, wake up the rest of the world. Let's make it happen. It was very inspiring. He'll be triggering a voice in all of us, a voice which actually will save the soil. Safe soil, guys. Safe soil. Safe soil. Lele, lele, lele. lele, lele. The Jeddo, this massive fountain in the Lake of Geneva is lit up for safe soil today with safe soil colors of blue and green. Here it is. You cannot stop this. The moment is on. It's going to be on till the policies are done. Let's make it happen. Safe soil. The problem is till now, never in any country have sixty percent of the population spoken for long-term well-being of the planet or for the future well-being of the future generations. So it is time the people of the world speak and give confidence to the governments that they are with them for long-term uh, policy making. See, when people want it, it definitely will happen. There's no question about it. Tell me, will it happen? Yeah! Yeah! As you can see, the weather is picking up, rain and wind, a long ride. Stay with us, it's going to be wet <laughs> So right now, um, uh, the motorcycle is being pulled forward, but because there's a turbulence in that uh, slipstream, it is wobbling. If you try to control, it'll go out of control. You just let it go with the wind. Just watch this. <laughs>
both hands off. So it'll wobble, but it'll go on. It's okay. As long as you uh, don't get panicky and try to do something. It's like meditation, if you don't do anything, it works. <laughs> I must say this is the first time in my life, Sadhguru, I'm actually interviewing somebody who's on a motorcycle. Nobody is crazy enough to be on a motorcycle when it's raining like this on the European roads. <laughs> I hope more and more nations get on board with this wonderful initiative. Let's make it happen, huh? Boom! Absolutely. I have joined the Save the Soil movement. Sadhguru is in three, four occasions in my state. As a chief minister, I should lead from the front. He is uh, doing it even before I reach Karmapi. <laughs> <laughs> I have started it. How do we leverage the collective mind of farmers to make it a more impactful? If uh, 25 to 50 farmers uh, from different regions who are doing different types of farms comes to us, we will take them to different live farms where incomes have gone up between 300 to 800 percent in eight to nine years' time. Just been a pleasure, privilege, honor for the working class of Absolutely. But the way he's communicating the message is both unique and impressive. His message is reaching all the way right at the top of the government to ordinary people.